All right, what's going on, tycoons? Super excited for today's video. We're going to be looking at Meta Hero. Okay, so we're on KuCoin. We're looking at the Hero slash USDT pair, or I'm sorry, we're on Trading View. Um, but you know, you can buy Meta Hero on KuCoin. So um, uh, Meta Hero has been one of my favorites so far, and uh, one of the reasons it's been one of my favorites is because it's been trading really well for um, technical, um, you know, analysis. Okay. Um, so. What I mean by that is we had a nice inverse head and shoulder right here, okay, that played out perfectly. And then we had a head and shoulders up here that played out perfectly, okay? And I showed you guys this head and shoulders in my last video, and a lot of people were like, he's so bearish, you know? But, you know, we had a left shoulder, we had a head, we had a right shoulder, and then we dropped, and boom, we hit the target right there. I circled it for you guys, okay? Um, now what we have is the Fibonacci is drawn up behind it. Okay. I have a whole tutorial in the, um, up right hand corner on how to use the Fibonacci's if you guys want to do that, but, um, you know, explain it. Okay. If you're new to the Fibonacci's, but right now we're in the golden pocket. Okay. And that's the, uh, what's known as the, uh, 0.618 and the 0.65 on the fibs. All right. Um, you know, we're right around there on the, uh, golden pocket. I just moved it. Let me undo that. But yeah. So um, anyways, I circled this here and I said, hey, if you guys are bullish on MetaHero, okay, this is a good time, a good zone to buy in for a long-term hold position, okay? If you are in a long-term investor in Hero, okay, um, you know, I said below 0.175 um, down to 0.123 is going to be a good buy zone, okay? And, you know, right in the middle of that buy zone is basically the golden pocket. And I was saying, hey, you know, I don't mind if you add in a little bit above the golden pocket and a little bit below. OK, and you see we did dip below a couple times. But if you notice on the chart, those are just some wicks. OK, we just wicked down there. Um, we have a little bit of what's known as some hidden bullish divergence. So hidden bullish divergence is when the we're going to look at this trend line right here. OK, so we have a low here and then a higher low. OK, so. The price is going up on the coin, right? On the hero token. But on the RSI, all right, here's that low again right here. And then here's that higher low up here, all right? That on the coin is actually just basically a break even, okay? If not slightly lower, all right, on the RSI. So what that means, because the RSI measures the relative strength, okay? So relative strength index. So that means that the price currently in this golden pocket, all right, has the same strength as when it was down here, okay? And if you see when it was down here, it went on that massive rally, okay? Not saying that, you know, it's going to go on a big massive rally, but what I'm telling you guys is that, um, you know, the RSI isn't lower than here, okay? Um, you know, so basically, like, you, you think that the RSI would go up, but it's actually saying, hey, this is a little bit of a weaker price. So even though it's it's still higher than what it was previously over here, the strength of it is still relatively the same. Okay. So it's not much stronger. And all that is, is because it ran up huge and then it's fallen back hard and it's consolidating right now. And it can't tell, okay, Hey, like, you know, what's the strength of this? Like, it's just, it's basically saying it's just as strong as it was down here. Um, you know, so you could, you know, we could see this thing reverse and it's right here in the golden pocket. Okay. Um, you know, so we have a little bit of some slight hidden bullish divergence along with, um, you know, the golden pocket on the fibs. So um, everything's still pretty much the same. All right. Um, I'll draw this over a little bit some more to update it for you guys since the last video. And, you know, this is still going to be a good long-term buy zone, in my opinion. Now, if we get below 0.123, um, you know, we could head lower and start, you know, a reversal. Okay. Um, and, you know, if we start a reversal, then, you know, it'll, it'll keep going down. But for now, um, you know, it's showing signs of consolidation and an uptrend. All right. Um, it moves really aggressively to the upside. And as a result of that, it moves really aggressively to the downside. So you just have to um, be patient, you know, buy in at some price levels you like, or, you know, if you like to day trade it or swing trade it, um, you know, it trades really well on the technicals. Okay. So we had the nice head and shoulders play out right here, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. All right. That brought us down to here. We hit that target. And we had the nice, um, you know, inverted head and shoulder. We had the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder. Okay. And then we hit that target up to here. And then we went on another bull run after that. So 
it was really nice to see that um, this one definitely trades the technicals um, very nicely. And it is uh, one of my favorites. Is it one of you guys' favorites? Let me know in the comment below. Let me know if you guys want to have another crypto or a stock maybe that you guys want me to analyze. I'll be happy to break it down for you, give you some support and resistance levels. Um, and if you want to join the Options Trading Tycoons Discord and trade with us and gain access to our um, call outs, our entries and our exits, and also, you know, basically just like all the resources that come in there okay um that's where it's easiest to get a hold of you know we're talking in there every day if not every other day and you know posting updates me and all the other mad uh, me and the other admins okay there's three more um who are you know calling out plays it's a ton ton of resources in there um that you won't get in anywhere else okay there's nothing like it